What's up guys, what's going on? K-Pop coming at you with a review. Uh, this is new for me. This is the, f the first time ever uh, me picking up uh, a Patrick Ewing. Ewing as a short. Um, Mach did a collaboration with Ewing's um, Superfire. If you guys have ever seen Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, Jim Carrey Special, probably one of the greatest movies of all time. Um, yeah, so let me just get right into it. So the box has this Honolulu design. In the, in the movie, he wears a lot of floral prints on uh, like short sleeve button ups or it's very crazy. I'll drop a picture so you guys see what I'm talking about. But on the box, you got Ace Ventura, Pet Detective to serve and protect your pets. Pop this bad boy open. Uh, let me show you the side of the box real quick. So the side of the box has Patrick Ewing on the side of it. And a little dunk action going on. Uh, over here. I'm gonna take him out of the box. Anyway, um, so when I saw this shoe, I wasn't sure. Mach is a customizer. If you guys are unaware, across screen, I'll throw up his Instagram. Uh, super cool dude. Uh, honestly, really just a really great guy. So uh, they had an event here in New York City. Um, through, I think he threw an invitation to KB, so I tagged along because I wanted to check out the shoe. Uh, I wound up copying. <laughs> super dope. So you got uh, gray as the base on the bottom portion of the shoe, midsole, uh, heel wrap in a croc print. Uh, pretty nice, actually. Not too bad. Colors on the back are <laughs> turquoise with the orange underlay. Uh, Finkel is Einhorn. Einhorn is Finkel. Once again, a reference to the movie. Uh, very super funny. I'm laughing because <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, 33 across the back for Ewing as you get there. Your strap is gray. Your number is orange. Uh, Dan Marino, um, Dolphins. I'm pretty sure that's what we're going with on the colorway on the back here. Uh, laces were out, Dan. But <laughs> the rest of the design is definitely inspired by the t-shirt action. I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer so you can see. You got Mach's uh, embroidered signature on the lateral side of both shoes. Um, tongue, obviously you got the Ace Ventura Pet Detective, same logo from the box on the tongue itself. Uh, what is this? This is a Durabuck? I would say a Durabuck down the tongue area, lower past the moniker for the Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Um, let's see, you got like a neoprene outer on the collar here. It's a very bulky shoe, but like I put it on with a pair of jeans right and I was like, damn. I could actually wear these. So that, that's really been like my biggest issue with Ewing's is that it, it's a high top and I'm always like, well, oh, am I gonna wear a high top? But then I think about ones and ones are highs also. So you just got a little extra on the tongue here and uh, I will do an on foot for you guys. You can see what I'm talking about with the jeans. It actually looks pretty goddamn good. They also came with uh, lace locks. The laces are out like I just mentioned. I'll probably take them out and show them to you in a more detailed photo, but gold with the turquoise dolphins colorway on the out so obviously you would do laces out on this if you've seen ace ventura pet detective you know exactly what this stands for if you have not i would highly suggest going and watching it there are a couple of extras on the shoe itself you got the patrick ewing hang tag with a little booklet on here and then you also have a basketball with the number 33 on it and patrick ewing signature on the other side uh very clean the lace locks were limited uh i, I forget the actual number i think it was 50 um, if you bought them in person. Um, there's a lot of apparel also. There's a jacket. Um, there's shorts coming out, I think, later this month, which are a must cop 100%. It's this print across the pair of shorts, so definitely gonna be on the lookout for those. Uh, last attribute is the icy outsole. I don't know if you guys catch that from the midsole, but on the outsole itself, it's icy, so I, I'm always a big fan of an icy outsole. Overall, very, very clean, very pleased with the outcome of this shoe, I'm probably gonna be on the lookout for another pair. Like, I, I it, it, they're on my radar thanks to Kick It With Didi, but I mean, for the most part, Patching Ewing is definitely not one of the sneakers that I heavily rotate into my closet, but I'm very pleased that I picked these up, very happy. So if you were thinking about doing it, I would definitely do it. I also went with a size 11. Uh, I went a half a size up as per Didi's instructions and it worked out great. So uh, look for a half a size up if you are going to cop a pair. Uh, other than that, I'm getting out of here. If you guys have any questions or comments, hit me in the comment section. And as always, shoot a thumbs up. Peace.